to, and Sharon, you were abused by uh, by Max Clifford. You were jailed for uh, historical assaults on girls as young as 15. And uh, and do you see? Did you feel uh, that once that had gone to trial and the and the eventual outcome was made public, that that more people would feel more comfortable coming Absolutely. forward? Absolutely. I wouldn't have gone forward until the first woman and when I told a friend a couple of months before it all became public I did say to her I can't do it no one's gonna believe me mm. and then fortunately somebody came forward and the day that that girl came forward my friend texted me and said you're not gonna believe this someone's come forward it's time you need to go to the police and I felt confident. Why did you hold back? Um, I didn't think I'd be listened to to be quite honest mm. I was young I was in I suppose the showbiz world and I thought that they'd think I was a silly girl and that it it didn't happen um, so that's why I hid it but obviously it destroyed a lot of my life and since then other friends of yours have come forward and yes. said well it happened to me it's not I'm not talking about Max Cliver but other cases yes. that it, you know, it happened to me as and well and it's it's extraordinary how many people have said to me now I wish I would told you this this is what happened to me and, and I've said to them tell your family tell your friends mm. because there will be a catalogue of behavioral patterns and you end up losing friends, you end up breaking down relationships and it's not the other person's fault and people go away thinking well you're either crazy or um, I don't ever want to have a relationship with that person again even in friendship so it's important to speak up and say my bizarre behaviour was because mm. and it's amazing how many people will say I understand it makes sense. 